Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here, helping your business take flight. Do you ever get frustrated with constant interruptions from your team? If you do, stick around for this video because I want to share with you a little strategy that's going to help you get more done and empower your team to make decisions more effectively. So how many times per day does somebody on your team come and interrupt you with the question, hey, have you got a minute? Probably happens a lot more than you would like, right? And, and let's face it, it's never one minute. It's, it's always maybe four or five minutes, plus how however long it takes to get back on task once you remember what you were doing before you got interrupted, right? So these little have you got a minutes can end up chewing up an entire day and keeping you from getting at what's most important for you to be focusing on in your business. So this week I want to share a strategy with you to eliminate or at least reduce the amount of time these interruptions are taking and eventually eliminate the interruptions altogether. So let's take a step back and ask ourselves, why do our team come and interrupt us? They know we're busy. We've probably asked them not to interrupt us, yet they continue to come to us looking for answers. Well, the simple answer to it is we've trained them. We've trained them to come to us for answers. And you might think, well, no, I haven't. I've asked them not to interrupt me. I don't want these interruptions. So here's the little litmus test. If, if a team member comes to you and says, hey, I'm having a challenge with this, what do you think? And if you give them an answer, that's the training moment. You are training your team to continually inundate you with requests for answers. What we need to do is to shift it. So here's the strategy. The next time a team member comes to you with a question uh, and they don't have a solution or an answer, don't give them one. Send them away and say, look, take a few minutes, come back to me with three potential solutions that we can discuss. So why three solutions? Well, it's easy to come up with one on the spot and it's probably not gonna be the best one. If we get into a second solution, now we're starting the, the thinking work going. And when we get to that third idea, now we've had to actually use some creativity to come up with a third idea. So we're getting the, the creativity and the problem solving wheels turning. And the reason you don't want to have your team member do that right there with you is because you've got more important things to do. They can go away, do the thinking and come back. Now you've got three potential solutions to discuss. It's going to be a faster conversation. One of them is probably a good idea. You can say, hey, go with option B, let's get it done. And off they go, you don't have to do the thinking. And now what you're doing, you're training your team to think. You're training them to problem solve. And you're also training them that next time they come to you with a challenge, that's okay, but bring solutions to the table, right? So they're doing that thinking work ahead of time. So that's where the time that the interruption takes is going to be reduced. Now, over time, what you're going to find is that your team members probably have some really good ideas and really good solutions to the challenges that they're facing. And over time, you're just going to have to, you'll, you maybe get to the point where you can just say, yep, yeah, option B, option A, sounds great. And eventually you can say, hey, you're doing a lot of really good problem solving in this particular area. Next time something comes up, I want you to come up with your three ideas, but then I want you to execute on one that you think is the best. I've got your back if anything goes wrong with it, right? Within some parameters. So you're training them now to build their own confidence in their decision-making ability and eliminating the interruptions to you. So that's the strategy for this week is to don't give your team the answers, give them a request for solutions that they can bring to you that you can discuss to help them get involved in the thinking and problem solving process. So have yourself a fantastic week of not giving out answers, but requesting solutions. We'll catch you next time.